Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Ploma and this is Ploma Beauty. Now for today's look, I am doing another cocktail inspired makeup look. I haven't done one in so long, so I thought for this one I would do a pink champagne inspired look. Now I created this look using lots of affordable products, so if you want to know how I achieved this, please keep watching. <laughs> All right, everyone, cheers, happy Friday. Now, I don't actually have any champagne glasses because honestly, I don't really drink champagne that often. I only ever drink it at parties, like celebrate. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of it. This one's not too bad. It's like a sparkling rosé. Honestly, I think my makeup's gonna be a bit more pink than this. This is a bit more uh, toned down, but again, it's just an inspiration. So yeah, it's quite nice, this one though. Okay, I've just pinned back my hair so it doesn't get in the way. And I'm going in with my Revlon Prime Plus Brightening and Skin Tone Evening Primer first. This makeup look is definitely gonna be glowy, like very glowy, um, because you know, it's champagne, it's sparkly, it's, I don't know, to me it's just like, yes, screams a glowy makeup look. And this one here is quite nice. It's not super shimmer or anything, but it just makes your skin nice and, as it should. Okay, for my foundation, I'm going with my Emco Beauty Ultra Stay Flawless Foundation. I haven't used this one in a while. It is like a little bit too dark for me, but because I have my turtleneck on, I thought I could get away with it. I'm also gonna be using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I got a new one. I'm filming at night, and I feel like the lighting is just not as good. But gotta work with what you got. I'm gonna use a brush just to place the product on. Oh, his earring's going to get in the way. Mistake. <laughs> wow, I just used all that foundation. I think I'm a little bit burnt today, even though it's bloody cold where I am. Um, I was sitting in the sun all day today at work and I got a bit, bit of color. That's okay. I always forget this foundation dries fast. Ooh. All right, I've got to work hard. It's already drying. So I haven't, um, I haven't lasered my moustache hairs in a long time. So if you can see them, you didn't see them. Okay. They are overdue. It's so because I'm getting microdermabrasion skin treatments on my, um, on my face. And when you get those, you can't get your lip done for like two weeks after. And then I forget. And then like, it's just, it's my own fault. But yeah, they're a little bit noticeable. Okay, I have a new concealer to try. Now, it's not new to the beauty market or anything, but it's new to me. It's the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. Concealer. And I got this shade 327 Cashmere. Now, again, because you can't uh, do testers, I just kind of winged it with this shade. They had a lot of light shades. And, like, this was in, this is probably, like, the fourth light shade. And it's pretty light, honestly. But... Yeah, we'll see how we go. Hopefully it is an okay shade. I'm also going to use it as my eyeshadow base as well. But I'm just going to do my under eye first, a little bit on my nose. And up here and down here. Now I've heard this is like really full coverage. Oh my god, yes. Ah! It might even be too light. Jeez, I nearly went for a lighter one. That is, oh my god, it's so bright. I hate really bright under eyes on me. Like, I know that lots of people do it, and it definitely suits a lot of people, but I feel like it just makes me look very strange. Not my bag. Mm. I feel like maybe once I put my eyeshadow on and everything, it'll be okay, hopefully. But the coverage is nice. I don't even say what it claims. Full coverage, oh, it is a full coverage concealer, so that's good. Just erase the long wig that I've had. 
Now I'm not going to set it, I don't always set my concealers, but I'm not going to set it yet. I'm just going to see how it wears while I do my eyeshadow because then that way if I get any fallout or a little bit messy with my blending, I can just, you know, clean it up a little bit. Oh my god, it makes up ugliest drinking face. Mm. Okay, for today's eyeshadow look, I am, again, using my 35S Morphe palette. I just think the color range is so awesome, and I'm going to be using all those pinks. Not all of them, but it's the only palette I have with pink, so I'll have to use it again. Don't come for me. I'm going to use a big fluffy brush. I've already set my lids with a light colored shade and I'm gonna go in with this color here. It's called Sneak A Kiss. It's just a nice matte, pinky, peachy color. And I'm just gonna sweep this in my crease. Ooh, it's pretty. Now this is gonna be like more pink than the drink actually is. Just, it's pink champagne, okay? Now this looks gonna be quite blown out with the eyeshadows. I am doing an eyeliner, but not black, but I'm not too stressed about the eyeshadow. It's gonna be a little bit messy, kind of, yeah, diffused. I mean, most of my looks are, but anyway. Okay, with that same shade, I'm gonna put it on my lower lash line. Again, I'm gonna do this quite thick and smoky. Now I've only done one cocktail inspired look which is my Aperol Spritz one and that was so long ago. I haven't actually been able to drink for a couple months. Um, so I mean how to continue on with the series. So hopefully now that I can have you know a couple drinks I am um, gonna move on with this series because there are a lot of cocktails that I want to do. I was actually inspired to do this one by Shanek So because she did one a pink champagne look ages ago like a few years ago. This eyebrow I need to pluck as usual. Okay the next shade I'm going in with is this one here called Private Villa. It's just a little bit more it's just like a deeper pink really. So I'm going to put this in my crease and I'm also going to pack it on my lid as well and on my lower lash line. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference this colour. I think it's just a bit more of a true pink. So I'm just going to slowly pack that on my lid. Oh, it's really pretty though. Oh, I love that. Oh, I just want to keep it matte. I'm actually, I'm making this shimmery. Oh, but I kind of like it how it is. You know what? I think I might keep the lid matte because the eyeliner I'm using is shimmery. Ooh, I love these colors. Man, these would be so fun to wear every day. If I wore this to work, everyone would be like, she's lost it. The kids would be like, miss, what are you doing? Oh, if you can hear that tapping, I'm just dipping into the shadow and just tapping off the excess because I don't want fallout. Not that this... Uh, palette gives me much fallout, but just in case. I'm being really messy with this, just slapping it on, blending it out. The last time I used colorful shadows from this palette, the blue look that I did, we had some issues there. I'm gonna put that color on my lower lash line as well, using the same brush. This is good, I haven't dirtied too many brushes, which is nice, because I hate washing my brushes. Guys, I'm sad. I just realized I wasn't filming. No. Okay, so what I started doing is I bought this Revlon Colorstay Gleaming Eyes Liquid Eyeshadow. It's like a champagne gold color. It's called Rose Gold. It's not super rose gold. Anyway, besides the point, what I'm going to be doing is a winged liner with this uh, shadow. So I'm using an eyeliner brush. And I'm, um, yeah, just winging it out. I'm really sad that it didn't film. But what I've done is just line my lash line. I feel like because I have hooded eyes, I have to keep my eye down. Otherwise, what I'm going to get is transfer, which I've already got. But, yeah, I'm just using this brush just for the lash line. And then I'm going to go in with a thinner brush for the wing. So, 
I'll show you on this eye. My bum eye. I'm probably gonna have to do a few layers just because using this brush kind of shears it out. But I really love this color, it's very pretty. I really hope it dries nicely because hooded eyes, I don't want it to transfer because it's already transferred on this side. I'm doing it quite thick because I want you to be able to see it. I'm just going to leave my eyes down like this for a little bit. Now I have a little bit of transfer up here so I'm going to use my brush to see if I can flick it off. Oh yeah, that works. Okay, I think it's dry enough. Now I'm going in with a thinner eyeliner brush. And I'm gonna create, create, oh my god, I can't talk, create a wing. So I need to look straight ahead. I'm gonna make it quite long as well, so you can see it. She's long. <laughs> That's not my time. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, ugliest laugh ever. Uh... Okay, I've done my wing and holy moly, it's so long. But I think because it's glittery, it's okay. Like I can pull it off. I do the other side. It's not as good. Don't look. Um, but I'm kind of tempted to bring it in here. Like do a bit of a graphic liner, but I don't want to mess it up. Um, mm. I think, I think I might do it because I've never done it before and why not? Okay, oh, this could absolutely ruin it. I'm going to hate myself if I ruin this. Let's see how we go. Oh, I'm not bringing it in all the way, just a little bit. It's really hard to see it with the reflection. Okay, I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's just weird. Um, not the neatest thing I've ever done, but I give it a go, so it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna put some shimmer on my inner corner. If I keep feeling with it, I'll make it worse. I'm just gonna use the lighter shimmery shade from that palette. I don't know, I feel like something out of Star Trek this look anyway the show must go on okay brows are semi done next I'm going in with my cream bronzer which is the age rewind concealer now I like using this especially if I want my bronzer to look a little bit more natural now I'm just gonna use my real techniques stippling brush I find that uh, face sponge just takes too long to blend in and I'm lazy so now I probably should have done this while my foundation was a little bit more wet but that's okay oh did I put on too much nah. I will go over with my face sponge though okay just going with my face sponge I'm looking very bronze honestly I'm not this tanned but I have a tail neck on so false advertising <laughs> For my highlighter, I'm using my L'Oreal Glow Mono More Drops. I haven't used these in so long. I was like, these are my favorite. Why haven't I used them for ages? I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand. Oh, they're so pretty. And this is gonna go all over my face. I'm gonna use a brush just to place it on and then I'll go over with my beauty blender, my face sponge after. I want to be super glowy. So with highlighter, 
with that. And then on my inner corners as well, my nose, in between my brows. Cool. Mm. Jeez. Sparkly. The more I drink this, the yummier it is. It's just dangerous. Okay, for blush, I was going to use a Chloe blush, but I just feel like that might be a bit of an overkill. So I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. blush palette. And I think I'm just going to use a mixture of these two here. Quite pink, pinky blushes. I don't usually go for super pink blushes, but I feel like I need to with this look. These are super pigmented. Like I just dabbed once into each pan. So if you guys have this, just be careful. Like that's enough. I'm just going to go in with my face sponge. Just so everything's nice and blended. I'm also putting some eyebrow gel in. I'm using my NYX The Brow Glue. I feel like I've been really bad at showing you the products I'm using. I'm just like going for it. I love this stuff and it seriously keeps my brow hairs in place. Like I have TikTok and I've been looking at how people do their makeup and some people are really aggressive <laughs> with their brows. Like putting them straight up. If I did that, it would just look hilarious oh i need to do my lips as well i actually bought a new lipstick where is it oh my god another nude what is she for my mascara i'm using my l'oreal lash paradise haven't used this one in a while i'm just gonna comb through my lashes quickly because i feel like that shimmery stuff got stuck in there i really hope i like, I really hope that this looks good without lashes. We'll see how we go. Because I don't like putting on lashes after I've done mascara. I know usually people do. But, um, I'm really bad at putting on lashes. I haven't used this in so long. This used to be my holy grail. But then I found the Lash Princess by Essence and the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. This one's good for volume. Not so much length. Oh god, like bloody hunchback. Okay, I'm not going to do lashes. I feel like the black mascara is enough. Now I'm going to use this lipstick that I bought. It's a L'Oreal Colorish Matte Lipstick in Mocha Chic 633. I actually thought it was way more pink when I bought it. Like I wanted a pink lipstick, but it's not. A more, it's more of a brownie nude, but we'll see. If it works. Oh, I love the smell of L'Oreal lipsticks. Ooh, nice color. Ooh, this is a really nice lipstick. Hello. I'm just using my Rimmel Oh My Gloss. Gloss? Yeah, that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any cocktails or other drinks that you want me to do makeup look inspired by, let me know in the comment section below. I think I'm going to do an espresso martini margarita one next. So I'm really looking forward to that. I need to find some like cool lime green colors, I think. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.